fuck salad. No, 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 no swearing. Oh, fuck. All right. It's, oops. It's fuck salad. Did you not hear how I said it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got my friend Pearson on the uh book salad. We got some uh reusable forks and reusable falafel. <laughs> Cause we just went and saw a movie. And yeah. got falafel plates. And uh, yeah, so far good night, eh? Dude, this falafel's on par with that movie. Can you Honestly, you know, this could be the first mukbang. What you, did you not eat with uh, Jesse? Or what, is that her name? There's no chronological order, mm. so it's not. I haven't ate with anyone. You, oh. you don't know if I've ate with anyone. Mm. I'm gonna treat every podcast like it's my first. Okay, I eat all foods. All plant-based foods, but nah, salads aside, like I don't just eat salad. Salad's not bad though. Like I've made some good salad's salads. Salad's nice. No, but salad, it's like, if you can make a good salad, but like not just some crummy. <laughs> I almost said some sort well, of bad salad, word. It's not a get nothing against salad. I mean, gotta give salad some love, but it's mm-hmm. like it's for people who think I only eat salad. Yeah, there's I, more I to there's more to healthy eating than just salads. Well. We just had a falafel play. I'm not sure how healthy. I mean, it's a chick, it's a Probably protein. better for the environment because it's not healthy. Well, I'm not talking about healthy for us. I'm talking about healthy for the world, man. I don't need to. I, pay, I swear I didn't pay this guy. <laughs> no, but like, no, I actually did like a project last year on. Um, I was focused on focusing this project on synthetic meat, yeah, as opposed to like just you know plant based meat or whatever. And I was doing this research, and I was like, man, we actually do like. We, we do some shitty things for the sake of our taste buds and it makes me feel bad and like if I have the option to eat a falafel and it tastes pretty damn good you know I can't complain good guy Pierce it <laughs> do you remember yeah. on our road trip did you try eating any veg stuff or no mm. we shot a short film in South Carolina and uh can't say I ate anything like <laughs> no. intentionally vegetarian oh, okay. that whole trip. It was that the <laughs> what what like kind of I'm I don't really want to necessarily dive into this, but like what kind of what kind of shifted since South Carolina then for you? What kind of what? What shit like what why do you have an appreciation now over a year ago in South Carolina? Oh, I've always had an appreciation. Like honestly, like You just didn't feel it in South Carolina? No. Wait, oh, 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 you mean like about the food thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were just talking about it in general. Yeah, the food thing. No, honestly, like that project. That project really yeah, like kind of opened my eyes. Like I saw how much, how much, re- how many resources go into raising the food that we're eating, and it's like, wow, those resources could just be eaten themselves. Like all this, all this land that's used to build or to to grow vegetables that are fed to the cows. Like, why don't we just eat that? Like, there's so much. Food that goes into the into the cows and comes out their asshole and or oh. their, their their butthole no, and no, that, turns into methane <laughs> and you got this whole fuck or for, oh uh, man uh, I do swear a lot don't no, I no 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 we all do <laughs> yeah but it's it's interesting to be conscious of it now it's funny it's not like a I don't necessarily want to say no swearing but like no negativity and sometimes yeah. swear words have negative connotations yeah so we just try and rid our negative energy and yeah. so we're not really that like. It is frustrating, not, yeah. but we all have our own way of doing things. You're not against the swear words. You're just against the negativity that it could bring. And the monetization would be nice. And now <laughs> I have to go through and like kind of <laughs> beep it out. <laughs> I'm going to use one of those like epic meal time, kind of ironically. Remember those yeah, little, he got the little, little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll just dump that in here. Yeah. Uh, but actually, so no, I do, I, do, I do have a question about South Carolina. How the heck... Did you actually fund that whole thing? Like, can I ask how much that ran you? Or, like, oh, do you man. not want to think about it? Because it ran me a lot of money, and I wasn't paying for anything. I was just yeah, paying for food. I think, man, if I'm being completely honest... First, it, was it worth it? Like, yeah, was it worth it was, of course it was worth for? it. Yeah. Um, of course it was worth it. We shot a film in South Carolina. I haven't done anything with the film yet. I did the Digital Glue premiere about... Um, in October of 2018, great, great premiere, great reception. Sold 150 tickets. We packed a gym. It was, mm-hmm. it was dope. 
a gym. <laughs> <laughs> I went, how else are you going to explain it? It's not a gym, but like, I don't know. Crazy. I never know how to, to I don't, an abandoned warehouse, honestly. Yeah. Um, and, uh, how did I fund that movie? Well, it's a great question. I saved a lot through university. Mm-hmm. Um, it was basically all the money that I had really at the time that I wanted to just like, I'm like, I knew I would be making money that summer. Mm-hmm. I think. Probably just weddings and shit or and stuff. No, I don't even know. I I just had like odd jobs coming and going. Yeah. I had like some retainer and editing jobs. I knew money would be coming in. It might have put me like back like twenty six hundred bucks. I mean, that's for what we did, mm-hmm. and not to like discredit the quality of our group. But you know, you can make that money go a lot longer if we weren't going for ten days and like doing fun things in Savannah. I would have spent more if we didn't have fun. Because I pitched mm-hmm. it to everyone as like, hey, come down, come have fun. I'll drive you. I'll make sure you have a place to stay. Mm-hmm. You were treating us to this experience. Like, it wasn't us working for it. It was literally you gifting us an opportunity to go film something fun. Film something fun and then also just see South Carolina. Do you have a, do you have a favorite, like, period of that trip? Driving down. Just, it was like my birthday. Yeah, dude, it was your birthday, and then like, like halfway through the day, we're like, "It was your birthday." <laughs> I'm not a big. I don't. I don't think I'm a big birthday guy. Maybe yeah. I used to be. I couldn't be asked, but if I'm like surrounded with friends in some mm-hmm. capacity, that's kind of cool. I can, mm-hmm. I can appreciate that. It doesn't need to be like a known thing. Um, but like, yeah, we just left on my birthday to drive 14 hours, and I'm mm-hmm. like, that's how I want to spend my birthday. Like, driving down with friends to make a movie <laughs> that I'm paying for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It better be my birthday. It probably, like, lighten the mood, actually. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, we gotta be nice to Vince. Yeah. Oh, we gotta be nice to Vince. Oh, you've never been iced before? Oh, God. Let's just ice you every day. Let's get off the subject. That trip was... <laughs> we're, was... Gonna do it. we're gonna do another one this summer. Yeah. Oh, you, no, I know you were telling me about that. You mentioned it earlier. Not Digital Glue 2, but it's gonna mm-hmm. be a movie. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. about um something in the same world just gotta write it just gotta fund it just gotta yikes <laughs> <laughs> just gotta fund it well i'll figure it out <laughs> yeah do you yeah. have do you have any like themes you want it to revolve around i know you really like your not like you're not anti-tech f- at all but like you are kind of like m- very conscious of uh your online presence or your social media usage i'd say thank you i appreciate that yeah it's going to revolve around the same, like, Digital Glue 2 vibes, mm-hmm. right? It's going to be very unplug, very maybe unintentionally unplugged, maybe blackout kind of power outage, but mm-hmm. feasible and realistic. And I don't know. I'll hire a cinematographer. It'll look cool. I think the script will be better written. And uh have to wait and see. For mm-hmm. I'm hanging out with a, a friend soon to really get going on the writing and um, ideation and casting and dates and... Are you going to hold auditions, like, for real? No, like, no. Or just like, kind of, like, like, really, we got <clears throat> to find the, we have to find the person who wants to go for free, <laughs> yeah. but wants yeah. something for them and wants to help write it, because if they want it to portray them. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, like, I know there's actors that do work for experience a lot. Like, that's what all the film students do at Sheridan. It's like, just, like, a six, seven, eight trip is always a lot to ask. Yeah, but yo, it's, You're hard, totally- it's hard to say no to, to be honest. Like coming from the other side of like, true, just some like my my friend at you know, but like just some guy coming up to you to be like, yo, let me just take you on this trip for like six days out of country, and like we'll just do something crazy. That's true. <laughs> I gotta. I definitely need to uh, reevaluate what I'm gonna do, but we're gonna do it. I'm excited though. You're a part of it. Mm-hmm. Gonna have to be. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help. Yeah, yeah. Just gotta get you out of school. Yeah, out of school, dude. On, oh man, when I was filming that thing for for my friend, like that was actually so much fun. Like I forgot. I can't believe I forgot how much fun I have. Like just working behind a camera because you don't do it enough. Because I don't do it enough, and like I don't know how you just do stuff. All, how do you just do stuff all the time? Oh, dude, it's not that easy. It's been years of just, like, you know, I've just, like, put myself out there as that person. I know, but, like, how do you just do that? Like, that's something so unique about you that I don't see in many other people. And I, I always wonder, okay, like, so. how the hell does this guy just just go to New York it's for fun. a It's fun. It's <laughs> fun. Like, you got to invest. It's all a personal investment, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd rather mm-hmm. make a video than 
go to a house party you know, or make mm-hmm. sure the house party is me filming it or something. <laughs> yeah yeah so I, or like this like catching up with friends over a, uh-huh. a like a chat but also kind of like using it to kind of you know do something creative yeah you always yeah. have a creative outlet try to i think that's key for um you know finding happiness and mm-hmm. but yeah i will see how long i keep it up for <laughs> yeah it's pretty exhausting sometimes man yeah no doubt but maybe we'll uh get you hired under go film things in a couple months no they're already on my linkedin <laughs> <laughs> they actually are. that's funny did you, did you see what i wrote as my like my position <laughs> i write up like an audio engineer and, and stuff you are like, my audio engineer <laughs> you don't take enough credit in yourself bro no i'm i'm taking the credit okay, but like good. i like I, I write it down but i just feel silly saying it you wrote it nice <laughs> didn't you i'm a yeah, video no. editor audio engineer oh i say like i'm an assistant like uh, I don't know, some assistant something. Okay. <laughs> assistant to the d- director. That is, that makes me feel so powerful. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool what you do. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Likewise, we just got to get you on more projects. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I got to find, like, what am I good at? Like, I'm good on set, I think. Like, I, you can just tell me what to do and I'll do it. I don't know. Maybe I got to... Maybe I gotta hone a certain aspect of it. I can't just be a jack of all trades, master of none. Switching up conversations. Mm. TikTok. Mm-hmm. On that same realm you're talking about. That whole stuff I've been calling Pe- I've been calling Pearson about like, I wanna do something with TikTok. That's what I mean though. It's just when you have an idea, like try and figure out a way to do it. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes those ideas don't come around that often. Mm-hmm. So when something really clicks, or if you're really thinking about it, try and like put in some serious effort into it. Because if you really want that, you dig deep. You put in like mm-hmm. six, seven hours of preliminary work. If you can get six or seven hours into like a project that you're not getting paid for, not only will the project outcome be better, it'll make you way more like stoked to do it. If you can't reach the six or seven hour mark, it's just not meant to be. Move on to a new idea. <laughs> Yeah, but I got stuck on TikTok now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck, dude. Why? Oh, I don't know if I want to get into it again. I probably touch on this on every podcast. It's going to be the meme. It's going to be like, and I'm like talking about TikToks <laughs> all the time. They're going to happen, but they're going to happen in a way different idea than, than what I initially imagined. Because mm. what I initially imagined was probably based off someone else's idea. I want to like, do something for me, right? Mm. And just back to your point about... um like finding stuff you're passionate about it's like it has to be for you always mm-hmm. it has to unless it's a paid project yeah yeah but if it's something that you're funding yourself like yeah it's got to be it has to be like you got to be a little selfish this is this is what i'm working for because it's my idea exactly that man exactly that mm-hmm. sometimes i have ideas like that but